In the complex operating environment of today's military forces, multiple elements must work together to achieve success. The same principle holds true in meeting modern military training requirements. To meet these needs, L3 Link Simulation and Training, a longtime leader in military flight simulation, and Calitrix Technologies, an innovative leader in individual and collective training solutions, have teamed to develop an integrated training environment. Combining the best aspects of gaming industry technologies with high fidelity military training systems, Link and Calitrix jointly created a realistic multi-force scenario designed to demonstrate integrated training capabilities now available to armed forces around the world. This unique scenario networks Link's helicopter collective aircrew tactical trainer, known as Hellcat, and the military training game Virtual Battle Space 2 via Calitrix's fully bi-directional DIS HLA Gateway LVC game. Collectively, this solution will enable warfighters to practice simulated missions that parallel all aspects of actual air and ground integrated environments. Let's listen in and observe as five striker vehicles, all VBS-2 entities, undertake their mission with a military helicopter team comprised of one manned Hellcat CH-47 Chinook and two Hellcat semi-automated forces AH-64 Apaches. Dragon Talk, Alpha 6 is RP. Mission Task Force Alpha, comprised of five striker armored vehicles, has just begun to conduct route reconnaissance from forward operating base Zebra to FOB Mule in order to detect and deter insurgent activity in the vicinity of Mahmoudia. Upon arrival at FOB Mule, conduct replacement of four soldiers and return to FOB Zebra. An improvised explosive device has struck the lead vehicle, which is immediately immobilized. Dragon Talk, this is Alpha 6. IED attack hit our lead vehicle approximately one minute ago in Route Jetta. We're located approximately one click south of Mahmoudia, setting up security and assessing damage. The crew members of the damaged vehicle are able to rapidly egress, but have sustained wounds. The other four vehicles in the convoy assume a mounted protective posture and after a quick assessment of the enemy situation, egress their respective strikers in order to recover and treat the wounded personnel from the lead vehicle. Roger, Alpha 6. QRF being notified. Maintain security and report status as soon as situation allows. Over. At this time, the Tactical Operations Center assesses the location and availability of aircraft that can rapidly respond. An air weapons team with a medium lift aircraft operating at a nearby FOB is directed to support the extraction of the wounded personnel. Striker 2, I need you to secure those wounded soldiers and have your combat medic triage their injuries. Once inside perimeter, begin treating wounded and report status immediately. Dragon Tuck, Striker 1 is severely damaged. I have four badly wounded personnel. Break. We'll report more after medical personnel look them over. Request immediate medevac and attack aviation. Over. Roger, Alpha 6. Be advised that an air weapons team and a CH-47 are in the vicinity and have been redirected to support your recovery. Break. Expect arrival in X-5 mics. Upon arrival, establish radio contact on Free Cop 345. Call sign for the air mission commander is Blackjack 16. Break. Upon arrival, the QRF will secure the site, dispatch a security element to escort the remainder of your convoy back to FOB Zebra. How copy, over. Dragon Talk, be advised we've received sporadic small arms fire from the vicinity of the buildings to our north. Returning fire. Roger, Alpha 6. Contact the air weapons team leader, Blackjack 16 on Free Cop. He should be at your location momentarily. Blackjack 16, this is Alpha 6. Alpha 6, this is Blackjack 16, ETA less than two minutes, break. We've got two AH-64s, each 300 rounds, 30 mic mic, 12 rockets, two Hellfire missiles, break. We'll be approaching from the east, make a low pass to your north. Request sit rep. Roger, Blackjack 16, marker panel is in place, break. 
task, attack to destroy armed indigenous forces attacking from buildings west of my location with small arms and light caliber machine guns. Break. Purpose, prevent escape and future attack on coalition forces. You are cleared to fire in and around the buildings to my west once you have positive ID on combatants. The buildings are normally uninhabited and collateral damage is not a consideration. We will shift fires until you're clear. Over. Roger, Blackjack 16 copies off. The Hellcat flown CH-47, carrying a crew of six VBS-2 generated personnel, lands slightly north of the Y intersection and the immobilized striker. The roads and height above ground correlate to allow for an accurate landing area and extraction point. Alpha 6, this is Big Hook 2-3. Your area appears to be clear at this time. Send out your wounded personnel. Roger, Big Hook. Personnel will move to your location momentarily. At this point, the operator of VBS-2 Station 1 changes from the mission map to an insurgent located in the village on the rooftop of a nearby building. The insurgent is armed with a rocket-propelled grenade launcher and aims toward the Chinook. As the RPG is launched, the rocket plume is observed and correlates in both visual databases. Alpha 6, Blackjack 1-6, this is Big Hook 2-3. We just observed an RPG launch from the red building to our front. It landed well long of our location, but we request you destroy that building and expedite our departure. Roger, Big Hook. Blackjack, can you engage? This is Blackjack 1-6. We have the target in sight. We'll engage momentarily. The SAF operator engages the rooftop insurgent, and the result is a large explosion seen from both the hilltop VBS-2 observer and the out-the-window view of the Chinook. This is Blackjack 1-6. Target destroyed. Over. Hellcat, VBS-2, and SAF players have the ability to drop out or enter into a scenario at any time. The operator of VBS-2 Station 2 now changes from the hilltop observer to the door gunner on the right side of the CH-47. Blackjack 1-6, Big Hook 2-3, you're clear to depart. Appreciate the assistance. Over. Roger, Alpha 6, break. Big Hook 2-3, call departure. We'll pick up lead. Big Hook at Alpha 6, we just overflew a white pickup truck, heading towards your location, break. Had a tarp in the back, could be carrying personnel, unable to determine hostile intent, over. Recommend you stop the vehicle on the road, be prepared to engage if it does not stop. The SAF operator waits until the VBS-2 truck with two VBS-2 insurgents comes to a stop, and then inserts two additional SAF insurgents. Both groups of insurgents and the white truck appear in both visual and sensor databases and are successfully eliminated by the VBS-2 door gunner from the simulated Hellcat CH-47. Pilot right gunner, four personnel, one truck destroyed. Alpha 6, we engage the vehicle. Four personnel, one truck destroyed. We're going to be departing to the west. Roger, you are cleared to depart. Be safe, Alpha 6 out. Now that the VBS-2 generated troops have boarded and the threat is eliminated, the Hellcat Chinook lifts off and can easily view the destroyed truck and insurgents. As you can see, Link simulation and training and Calatrix technologies have taken the next step forward in modern warfare simulation. This demonstration successfully correlated visual and sensor databases, performed entity matching, employed direct and indirect fire from entities, and mounted and dismounted troops. Hellcat, connected through LVC game, has the proven ability to integrate with the latest military training simulations, such as VBS-2, creating a highly intensive, realistic training environment. The latest tools in the gaming industry, combined with cost-effective man simulators, enable Link and Calatrix to provide a realistic and challenging training solution for armed forces worldwide.